Junk Car Willie with you guys and gals, and I just uh, out here at my buddy's, and he's got this 84. He's the second owner. It was a long time one owner. He got it three years ago, and put, it's got brand new sound and dual exhaust on, new shocks, disc brakes all the way around. Check, I want to show check out how nice this is underneath guys he's even got the dry sap i like what he did with that see painted blue here i think we got it sold today it's one eighty five hundred dollars it does have a leak it was set from the back of the transmission seal it looks like nothing major it's got two rust spots on the whole body right there it's had one repaint, 85,000 miles. It's got the old wooden bed in it, good tires. Nice little truck, guys. Right here's that other rust hole. But I've just been up all over it, we can't find no more. It's really sounds good, headers and dual exhaust on it. It's an all original truck. Uh, had it back around the lean there. Had it for sale. Well, you know, put price on it, but $8,500 the firm price. Supposed to have a guy come this weekend with the trailer because, you know, unless they're serious, I don't even let them come look at it. I'll be honest. I, I went through it so much here lately. But uh, if not, go put it in the garage, clean up and wax it next year, and put it out next spring for ten five. So up to the guy if he wants to buy it listen to this thing it's a uh, where it set there last year we, i noticed when he drove around there it needs chimneys in this it uh back brake was back wheels moving on the back uh, rear but uh it's got a uh you could tell it's making a little noise where it's sticking so drive it a few miles it'll quit Somebody's gonna get a good truck. He is the second owner, but technically, you know, he's not even put 100 miles on it. All he did was uh, exhaust, went through it, made sure it was a good truck. Uh, you don't ever put transmission fluid in it, but if he left it set for a year, like out there, it was leaking a little bit out of the rear. Easy fix for you mechanic guys, but it's nothing. I mean, small leak. See the brake lights on, but it's got great brakes. Cause he already just redone them. This year they did the wooden and the and the flatbeds. I think it's cool. It's got the '97 up there. Bill sell cause ain't putting it on the road anyway. Forty-eight hundred dollars. It's got five-ton military axles on it. It was running three years ago when he pulled in here. The other day we. We started up, turn over good and everything, but uh, wasn't getting no fire. Uh, pulled the spark plugs, it wasn't getting no flyer, so fire, so we didn't go anywhere farther, like into it. But turn over good motor. You know how they set for two, three years. Guy was gonna put a. The guy before was gonna put. You know how the monster trucks they have a metal dash with all their switches and stuff. But if somebody wanted to take one out of a junk truck, if they wanted to dash, they could have it. But he's firm. He had a guy come out and offer $4,500 he wanted, you know. Uh, it's like one of them deals, you take it or leave it. Notice when I pulled, when he pulled it out there, there's a little noise. It's the, where it's set for a year, that brake sticking. But I forgot to tell you guys, he put a uh, $1,000, over $1,000 on these Wellwood. This was the drum brakes. Uh, last year he put disc brakes on it. Well wood brakes, stainless lines. That part right there is anything that's got to get hooked up. Um, it's either the rear seal or the pan. It's not leaking from the front. The let me see the transmission up there. It's either leaking. It might be where he put new filter in it. When he bought this off the one owner, all he did was. Uh, uh, put new exhaust on it, new brakes on it, dry shaft. He had the rear end out and painted it. Did all the maintenance to it. There is no rust on this truck underneath, guys. 
any rockers. All that's good.